ho mateys join my family and me for a trip around the seven sea lagoon we met up for the pirate and pals fireworks voyage at the second floor of the contemporary resort as usual disney has thought of everything there's even a place to park the stroller there's also interesting characters about for photo opportunities and for the little ones there's some treasure boxes complete with puzzle pieces out while you wait now these bandanas are your tickets to the show. The cast members will want to keep them on you the whole time. Before you've had time to really even look at everything, these two fellows show up and welcome you into essentially the party room. It's one of the ballrooms there at the Contemporary, uh, all fixed up for the Pirates and Pals event. As you walk inside, you'll see that there's a grub laid out. Now there's not really enough for what I'd call a dinner. There's cake, there's ice creams, there's chips, there's salsa, and popcorn, all kinds of, oh, and a couple of characters, again, to meet you. Um, all kinds of goodies kind of spread out for you to see. Uh, Captain Hook and Mr. Smee meet there in the back. They'll stay until every guest who wants to has had an opportunity to meet with them. They will also do autographs, and uh, the memory maker photographer is there. Now, after everybody's had a chance to, you know, meet the characters, and eat you line up with uh, one of the two pirate patches and make your way down to the boats these are you know boats right there at the regular dock at the contemporary captain hook and mr smee do go down with their respective groups and they see you off with lots of waving and movement uh these guys were a trip it really was worth doing the event just to play with characters then once you get out on the water, the first thing that you see is the electric light parade. Now you can see this from all of the resorts around the Magic Kingdom, so it's not like it's anything new or spectacular, but it's kind of neat to see it from the water, and you get a great uh, soundtrack to go along with it. Also, you get lots of jokes from the uh, pirate patch who happens to be on the boat with you, and uh, occasionally even a rendition of his singing skills. For the red, white, and blue, there's never a post or drag for all Now, Patch also will tell jokes and stories on the way over to see the fireworks. In fact, much like they do on the Disney cruises, each family is welcomed by name and gets a round of applause from the other guests. Uh, surprisingly, my family actually enjoyed this. Usually, we're a little bit on the shy side, but our Patch the Pirate did a great job. He was funny, he was engaging, and he was very, very playful. Once you get over to the fireworks, the main show starts. The captain of the boat does a really nice job of keeping you centered so you get a good view of the fireworks as they're going on over the water. There's not really an anchor. It's really the skill of the captain to keep you going and he does a great job. And you can see from this it's a nice view of wishes. It's also one of the clearest I've heard the soundtrack to it. Probably the only other place that I've heard it in this well is Top of the World Lounge. So it's nice to be able to hear the whole story. Uh, something that for whatever reason we don't seem to hear as clearly when we listen to it inside the Magic Kingdom itself. The other thing to note is the lights are turned off on the boat and uh, if your young one is used to earlier bedtime hours they may do what ours did and fall asleep there on the boat in between mom and dad. Now once you get back to the dock there at the Contemporary there is one more surprise. Peter Pan pops up. He does a lot of popping about. This fellow's got a lot of energy and welcomes you home. And there is a final meet and greet with Peter Pan, the character, where he signs autographs as guests get off the boat. It's a fun meet. My daughter had a great time with Peter Pan, and she got to immediately use one of the treasures that she won on the uh, boat during the fireworks uh, cruise. We forgot our autograph book, so she handed Peter her brand new sword to get him to uh, sign it for her. Again, just a great meet and greet. It's a fun event, um, probably not for a first trip where you're crowding so much in, but for returners or repeat visitors to Disney World, 
it's a great way to add a little something different. The decorations in the ballroom are nice. They're not spectacular, but they are nice. And it's a nice way to just, I guess, plus a little bit of an event. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us, and we'll catch you again at A Year of Disney.